Um bum bum um bum 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 Skitty be be da do ba 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 if you don't want to hear me, the guy you're listening to right now, who's probably annoying you, if you're not a regular here. Go to OKC Vet HPA right this second. Otherwise, enter at your own risk. Must watch. Cops violate man's rights. Give me your ID part two. I never really saw part one. I saw this and it was disturbing. So this guy's parked at this place where he's allowed to be in public. People call because... They're little snowflake sheep vaginas. So cop shows up and this is a power tripping cop. And you're going to see his blue line mentality shine through here. I've got a couple people calling on you. Okay. I'm going to be pausing this a lot. First thing he says, the reason he's making contact with this guy is I have people calling about you. And he asks him, okay, have I done something illegal? Question, that is a question cops hate to hear. Well, no, they're just calling on you saying that I don't recognize a truck in the area. So right away, no, you're not doing anything illegal. The cop admits to it. This guy could break contact right now lawfully if he wanted to. But, of course, this cop won't let him. Okay. My duty to check and see if you live over here or what's going on. Live over here. That's not your duty. That's a lie. That's cops playing. Purpose. Okay. So, all right. You uh, working? You see you got a ladder in the back. You working somewhere? Yes, sir. Uh, you got a driver's license on you just so I can identify you? Uh, have I done something illegal? Well, I'd like to identify you. Just know who I'm Have I done something illegal? Well, I'd like to identify you. They always want to deflect, deter, and go around the actual question by answering a different question. He says, have I done something illegal? The first time he says no. The second time he asks, have I done something illegal? He says, well, I'd like to know who I'm talking to. He answers a completely different question than the guy asked him. This is a common police tactic. With, make sure. Fourth Amendment right not to show that to you. Well, if I'm making contact with you for a... So he just tells him, it's my Fourth Amendment right not to show that to you. And right away, this guy doesn't understand and doesn't care about the Constitution or the oath he took to it. Right away, he's trying to cop explain why he still should be able to violate this guy's Fourth Amendment. Here you go. A recent suspicion call like I am right now. Well, I'd like to identify you, just know who I'm dealing with, make sure. Fourth Amendment right not to show that to Well, if I'm making contact with you for a reasonable suspicion call, I got... So if I'm making contact with you for a reasonable suspicion call, it, this, again, dear police officers, it's not just reasonable suspicion. It's reasonable suspicion, articulable suspicion of a crime. You have to articulate what you believe the person is doing that is unlawful. He's not doing anything. But yet you're going to escalate, aren't you, big guy? I am right now. Being suspicious is a misdemeanor or felony. Okay. Well, Being suspicious is a misdemeanor or felony. He pauses like an idiot and says, okay. Okay. There it is again. Another favorite of the police force. Sir, here's the deal. I was called on you. And another favor of the police force. Here's the deal. As if they're going to dictate how your life is going to go. Here's the deal. I got a call, so I don't care about your constitutional rights or any oath I took because I got a call. Okay. Um, for a suspicious vehicle, you said yourself, you don't live over here. You have a purpose. What's your purpose? Is the purpose legal? None of your business. Really? That's pretty good. Okay. So if you're determined, I need to see your ID. How is my ID going to determine whether I'm... Well, yeah, it helps to let you know who I'm dealing with. Let you know who I'm dealing with. Uh, 
you're dealing with someone who doesn't want to be dealt with in the first place. Stop dealing with me. You have no reasonable, articulable suspicion. Here's the kicker. Here's the kicker of a crime. Hey, my name doesn't tell you whether I'm... Uh, well, tell me, like, if... I don't know if you belong over here. You said you don't, so I don't know if someone over here has got a beep door or something against you. And if you no, can... he said he did belong there. Did, did I something? say I didn't belong over here? You or said that, he had purpose. I don't, I don't live over here. Okay. Okay. I, I do belong... Yeah, he's mis- mincing the words and messing up the facts. That's why you never tell them anything. They're, all they're looking to do is take your words and use them against you. Immediately trying that a minute 34 into this interaction. This cop is trying four or five of the tricks that cops use in the first minute and a half of this video. Okay. All right. So that, that's as far as I'm willing to take it. So you don't, you're not willing to give me your ID? I don't have any reason to. Okay. Well, so, do, you, which, do you have a reason for being over here? Absolutely. Okay. Can I know that reason? No. Okay. Not... Yeah. You can mind your own business, dude. How about that? Your business. Well, it is my business if you're planning on breaking into something. It is my business if you plan on breaking. Okay. When you suspect that I'm going to break into something, you let me know. Until then, leave me alone. I don't know if okay. you are or not. Make that determination whether you feel I'm going to break into something. Well, that's why I want to identify you to help me make the determination. You can't. You can't because he's doing nothing. And then he's again, now he's going to cosplay. I need your slave card. I need your plastic slave card so that I can determine whether you're going to break into somewhere. If that's not cosplaying, I don't know what is. Get out of determination. That was my identifier. Okay, because if, if I identify you and I run your check and it says you've been arrested five times for burglary. Then I'm going to go a little bit further. If it's nothing, I'm just going to identify you, kick you loose, have a good day. Uh, what suspicion of a crime do you think that uh, I'm a half committed, about to commit murder? 501, check your 502 over here. Now this loser is calling for backup. You can't just let the guy be a free American who is not breaking any laws. This guy's not breaking any laws. He's trying to work just like I was when I got stopped. And this guy is escalating. This cop is escalating, doesn't care about his oath, doesn't care about this guy's rights. He thinks he's Perry Mason. So I have a call for service. Okay. I've had multiple I've had multiple call. Probably a lie. It's probably one uh rubber necker or one uh busybody that called. And so if you don't if you're not from here, I'm not sure if you are or not, because I don't know who you are. Okay. My plate's right back there. I'm sure you can run in. Yeah. Okay. So is that how you want me to identify you through your plate? If that's what no. I don't want you to identify me at all. I want you to leave me alone. But if you have to be a tyrant and not follow your oath, go ahead and violate my Fourth Amendment through the DMV Fourth Amendment disqualifying license plate. Are you the owner of the vehicle? Do you suspect that I'm not? I have no reason to believe you are. If you have no reason to believe he is the owner, then you have no reason to believe he's not the owner. It works both ways. Well, I'm, I'm sitting in a truck in front of a house. Wait. For what? I'm right here. Okay. That's not your business. It is my business. No, it's not. No, it's not. Idiot. Now, why is it your business? Because I want to make sure you're not going to break into any of these houses or anything like that. I want to make sure... Cop's explaining again. I want to make sure you're not... Going to break into any of these houses. Well, you would have to sit here all day and watch me, wouldn't you? Did someone call and say I was breaking into houses? Or are you just making that up to justify your oath violating behavior? That. Do I look like I don't know. You have a ladder. You have a ladder. You have a ladder. Do you use a ladder for it? Does that have a ladder in the back of the truck? Is that illegal? Well, no, but if you've been arrested multiple times for it could be. I'm trying to get your ID and make a determination. It's really not that hard. All I'm trying to do is identify. It's really not that hard to surrender your Fourth Amendment, man. Just surrender. People do it all the time. It's not that hard to surrender your constitutional rights. Dude, I'm wearing a costume. I have a badge. I have several weapons on me. A bulletproof vest. An AR-15 in my trunk. People just usually just surrender their Fourth Amendment. It's no big deal, man. What's your problem? Why can't you just surrender your rights? I have a Fourth Amendment right. I have not. But you also have the right. I also 
you can ask, if I'm conducting an investigation, which I'm currently doing, no, and you don't not. comply, it's obstruction. If you're conducting an investigation, what crime are you investigating? Investigation into what crime? Make a determination if there was a crime and then make contact. For all you know is a guy sitting in public in a vehicle. Nothing unlawful or illegal going on. You're creating the situation here. Correct? Am I being detained? I'm asking you a question first before I answer that. Okay. Oh, that's another question police hate to be asked. Am I being detained? Until I know whether or not I'm being detained? You're not free to leave at this time. Okay. Then I... So now he's, he's being detained unlawfully. Again, there's no suspicion of any crime. Suspicion, reason. The, what makes it reasonable is that it's suspicion of a crime, not just suspicion. Because suspicion, in and of itself, is not reasonable. It's just your hunch, your moronic, delusional thoughts in your stupid head. And don't I deactivate my lights until you're free to go. Your tanes like a traffic stop. Okay. So and I basically claiming that he has him at a traffic stop. What infraction did he commit? Do you have an ID on you? Do you have an ID on you? Do you have an ID on you? That's another thing police say. This guy has got it down. Good for you, bro. I don't answer questions. So he keeps asking questions. See, cops short circuit when you hit them with their own stupidity. They short circuit. When you use the laws that they don't know are supposed to know against them. You probably couldn't hear that, but he's saying, I don't consent to any searches or seizures. And he's standing firm on his rights even more. By the city of Blanchard. But is it owned by the city of Blanchard? So now the guy's saying it's a public roadway, and the cops trying to say, cops playing in and say that, is it owned by the city of Blanchard? This, who do you think the city is, dude? It's the people. The people make up the city. Holy crap, this guy's an idiot. You could tell he's a wet behind the ears loser. I didn't want to have to do that myself. Are you Mr. Blanche? No, I'm not Mr. Blanche. This is not what she said. That's what it sounded like. That's what it sounded like. Can you repeat that last name, please? Claire on Grants. So are you Mr. Grants? Hi, man. Dude, it's not a big deal. I'm just trying to identify you and catch and lose. It's not a big deal, man. I just have you unlawfully detained here and threatening you to surrender your Fourth Amendment rights or else I'm not going to stop kidnapping you. I'm not going to stop this false imprisonment of you and your person and your vehicle until you surrender your rights under threat and duress. That's what this cop is saying. In this day and age, citizens have to stand up for their rights. That's right, brother. In this day and age, if we don't stand up for our rights, bye-bye. And as you can see, this cop and most cops could care less about your rights. If they want to engage you and they have a potato chip up their booty, this is how they act. This cop has no clue what he's talking about. Good for you, bro. All these people around here live in this neighborhood are safe. Okay? Yeah, cops playing liar. I have an ego. Now you're my target. Now I'm using the people of the community safety as an excuse to violate your constitutional rights. 
More cops planning. Burden of proof is on you, dummy. Listen, have a good day. That's, that's, that's what you claim. It's none of your business. The cop says that's what you claim. It isn't any of your business. Mind your own business. Look for criminals. Look for victims and damages. <coughs> There's nothing to see here. Man, look, man, I'm not trying to argue with you. I'm not trying to do you sideways. Really. I'm not trying to argue with you or do you sideways. Just... I just have you falsely imprisoned and telling you you must surrender your rights. What an idiot you are. I'm just trying to identify you, make sure you're not want to murder somewhere, and then I'm going to catch you loose. That's all there is. That's all there no, that's all there isn't. There is. And I have a right to figure out why you're here. Make sure you're in your words. I have a right to figure out why you're here. Yeah, go ahead and figure it out without me. I don't have to engage in your, your effing investigation. Mind your own business. Not here for you. Uh, probably affirmative. Definitely need to. He's refusing to give me identification. Oh, man. I'm going to have to escalate this violence. I'm going to have to escalate this false imprisonment into violence. Uh, have a man pulled over for no reason. No infraction committed. I have a man detained even though he hasn't broken any laws. And uh, I believe he's required to ID when he's not. I'm a police officer breaking the law right now. Put that over the radio, doofus. Well, I, like I said, man, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal. That's why I'm going to need six more cops here with guns. So that you, it's not that big a deal for you to surrender your Fourth Amendment right. What do you think you are, an American? I understand it. I'm not trying to violate your rights in any way, sir. I'm trying to do my job and make sure. I'm not trying to violate your rights in any way, but I'm consistently telling you that you're not free to leave. You're you're being seized right now, and I'm consistently telling you that you have to surrender your Fourth Amendment right. And then in the next sentence, you say, "I'm not trying to violate your rights." I'm gonna lose my voice. It's probably gonna have to be two-parter here. I understand that, and I don't want to. And I saw the army sticker, and I appreciate your service. But I, I appreciate your service, and that's why you need to surrender your rights right now. I want to make sure that you're not here for a very So that's all I gotta do is identify you, make sure that you're not a wanted murderer, or got warrants like that, and I'll catch you loose and you have a good day. Okay. You already ran my place. They, 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 gave you the, they gave you the information that you needed. You can ask them to go ahead and run. I gave you the information that you didn't need, actually. Do you have a date of birth, then? Because I have to run it with a name and date of birth. I'm, I'm not going to answer that question. So you're, 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 asking, you're telling me how I should do my job, yet you're not allowing me to I'm do my job. I'm up for my rights. And I understand that, like I, I said. I I'm telling you how to do your job. No, he's not. He never told you how to do your job. You shouldn't be talking. You have him unlawfully detained right now, dude. Oh, Officer Haynes, dude, you're a disgrace to America. But wrong. I'm doing my job. Okay, conducting inve investigation into what crime? Idiot. There has to be a crime. Or suspicion of a crime. Dude, this is so frustrating. I haven't committed a crime. I'm sitting here in front of a house, which is perfectly legal. Hmm. Well, you're not completely on the roadway. Nice fishing for stuff. Nice saying you're not completely on the roadway. This this is the biggest... I say that every time, but... You're just a loser, dude. This is loser behavior. Just a loser. There, sir. Okay, has anybody asked me to move? Do they have to ask you to move? It's private property. Okay, but there's also a public easement right here. Oh, it is a public because this is the city of Blanchard Road, so it's a public easement. No, the side of the road is. Oh, because this is the city of Blanchard Road, to so therefore make a city easement okay, of a city road, right? What, what are you trying to accomplish? What okay. I'm trying to also I want to do, I'm sir. I'm trying to cosplay your rights away from you. You know it. I'm just saying. Just identify you. ID. Okay. Okay. I haven't done anything <laughs> illegal. Okay. Well, then, 
Okay, Detective. we understand that by not identifying yourself appropriately as requested by the officer is illegal. No, it's not! Idiot! God, that just... Ugh. Why does every cop think... That, dude, they're trained that the ID law to purposely violate the ID law. They're trained to purposely violate the ID law. How does every single cop repeat the same thing over and over and over again? It's not a coincidence, people. It's a conspiracy. Every single cop thinks that just because they ask you, you have to show ID. That is not the truth. That is not the truth at all. Dude, like, the whole city should do a class action lawsuit when, when a cop says something that stupid. The whole city should file class action lawsuit against these idiots. Oh, my God. I'm getting fired up here. Okay. Obstruction. That's a Obstruction. You, there's, there's no crime being investigated for him to obstruct. Idiot. Third charge, okay? I have to be, for you to ID me, the state of Oklahoma, okay, I have to. This is the second time this, this anonymous guy has to repeat the law to two law enforcement officers. Why does he know the law and they don't? You think that's a coincidence? Well, you're committing crime. You're trespassing. Oh my God! This guy thinks now that he's trespassing in public. Officer Haynes, dude, please go jump off a cliff. Please. Somebody has called in. Shut up. Somebody has called in. Oh, shut up, Officer Baluni, with the shut up. Officer Balloony, another one that should be playing in traffic right now. You're a scumbag, dude. You shut up. You don't tell me to shut up. I'll tell you what I want to tell you. Okay, yeah, you're not going to tell me to shut up. I'm Somebody 47, called us in. 48, I don't care how old you are. You're not going to sit there and tell me to shut up. Here's the deal, man. There is no deal. Here's the deal. More cops explaining. Cops explaining doesn't work anymore. We're on to your stupidity. We're on to your little catchphrases. We're on to your little gang signs. We're on to your little crowding techniques and your kettling and all that crap you learned from the Israeli Defense Force. That stuff isn't going to work anymore. You're going to change. You're going to change one way or another. You're not going to tell us to shut up. You're going to shut up. You remember that balloony? I'm trying to explain to you what questions. gives us the right. You're telling me I that don't we don't have the right? I'm explaining to you how we have the right. You don't have the right to get your ID if I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to explain, to, explain to you why we have the right to get you your don't ID. You don't have it, idiot. Go read the law. Go to your little laptop that you probably watch porn in in your police cruiser and, and touch yourself. Instead of watching the porn, look up the actual law and read it. Idiot. Have it. I'm trying to explain to you why I have it. Okay. Well, you, you don't have it, idiot. Listen to me. There is a call that somebody placed to our police department. That doesn't matter. Suspicious vehicle and person inside that vehicle. We therefore have the right to come investigate that. Okay, it by that being the, Let him finish, by that being the case, we are here investigating that. And in order and a part of that investigation, we can identify you. No, you cannot forcefully identify someone because you want to. You can investigate all you want. They don't have to participate in their investigation on themselves. Idiot. Why would anyone want to do that, idiot? Haynes and Balloony, man. You guys should go in the closet together and bring some baby oil. Request you your identification. Ask. You may ask all you and want. And you are also required by I'm law. I'm not required by law. Upon request. If I show you. If I That's a lie. That's after there's reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. You guys have not articulated any crime. You're both idiots. Show you the state statute you that you're required to do that. Will you give me your ID? Absolutely. Show me the statute. Give me one second. Okay. Whoa, this is where the fun starts. You know what? I'm going on 25 minutes. I'm going to run this to 10 minutes. This might be a three-parter, so... Next three days, we'll do this video. Apologies.
apologize for that. But here's the deal. I don't like being interrupted either. Oh. Here we go. All right. You don't like being interrupted. So I'm at nine, four. All right. Okay. And I, I don't like being talked down to. I understand okay. that. I have a purpose here. When I'm interrupted, I'm being okay. talked down to as well. Yeah, but you're acting outside your authority where he isn't. That's the difference. Anyway, where are we at here? Where are we at in the video? Before he be here to meet me at this house. Okay. And that's All right, so it gets good after this. It's right at 10 minutes. Start part two tomorrow. Whew, I'm winded. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, click the bell. When you click subscribe, a little bell appears. Click the bell. Click the thumbs up. Join if you want to join. All you people who are paid subs, I appreciate you more than you know. My YouTube fell off more than half this month. I have no idea why. Doesn't seem like something I can count on. And I might have to go actually do some work, which is horrible to do work, work, like work, like work, work. So buy my rings. I love you. Subscribe. Buy my rings. Stop repeating yourself, John. You sound like a cop. All right. Peace and tranquility. Bye.